Hey, it's the French student here, and today I want to showcase the users of the JavaFX combo box. And I just created a small program to showcase kind of how it works and what we can do. So the combo box is very simple. This box that allows us to have multiple options we can pick from. And in this case, I just added some animals to begin with. I can do dog, for example. And then with the use of a button, get my content from my combo box, which in this case is the string dog. And for now, I'm just printing it to the console. You can change to card and so on. I also added another text field where we can add some text. Let's add my name, Daniel. I can submit it and add it to my combo box. So now I can also get the value Daniel. Inside Scene Builder, just a very simple setup. We have my combo box with an ID, a button on action trigger, a text field with an ID, and another button with another on action trigger. So how we do this is inside my controller. We have my combo box and we then define which kind of objects is going to be containing. In this case, I just added as a string. So we're just going to be containing string, but you could create any object yourself and then just define how it should showcase these objects. I have my text field. I have an initialize where I add some data, in this case, some strings to my combo box to begin with, which is very simply just done by doing combo box that set items. We then need to add a observable array list. So we do fx collections dot observable array list and then add my objects, all my strings in this case, my dog, my cat, and my bear. And then have my two buttons. So whenever we want to add more stuff to our combo box, we just very simply do combo box that get the current items and then add something new. And in this case, we just add the output. So our text input. Okay. So this box, so whenever I click my submit button, add input to combo box, I just take the input from this box and put it inside my combo box by doing, as mentioned, combo box that get items that add, and then takes the input that get text. And just to make it a bit more clean and then clear my combo box or my text field. So it kind of looks like it's actually being submitted like that. And then in the end, when we want to get some information from our combo box, we just very simply do combo box dot get value. And in this case, I'm just printing it to the console using system.out.println. But very simply just doing combo box dot get value. So that is very much the base uses of our combo box. We can add some stuff to begin with. We can add more stuff and we can get the information whenever we want to. So if you enjoyed this quick showcase of the JavaFX combo box, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.